Good morning everyone and welcome to a brand new video. It's going to be another moving vlog. I feel like we've been doing a lot of moving vlogs lately but it's because I'm doing quite a bit in the house and then we'll probably go back to vlogs for a little bit but today I want to do some redecorating of the kitchen. So in the couple of videos ago you would have seen that I was trying to choose some paint colours. So it was out of Farrow and Ball Weathert, which was a very like white colour, or Ammonite, which was a bit more of a grey colour, or Blackened, which had a blue tone to it. And I sort of was like, mm, I'm in an R ring. Everyone gave really good comments, so I was thinking about the light and how it would look in the kitchen. And we sort of was like, at the time, it was like, oh, we like Blackened because it's got that blue tone. But I was doing it in a place behind the bin, so it was a bit dark, so it meant you couldn't really see the colour. So what I've decided to do is paint a little bit more, but more by the window, so that when the light comes in, we can see it a bit better. So I'm waiting for Wade to come downstairs to then choose the colour. I also was thinking as well, should we paint the ceiling to make it white? Because it's that sort of creamy colour. So if we made it white, it would also brighten up the room in here. So a couple of ideas that I'm playing with, and we'll go and get the paint and everything soon. I'm also thinking of a bit of a feature as well by the dining table, because we're going to be removing that cupboard which is on the wall and then maybe putting some slats or something there. Not sure yet. We'll think about it and I'll ask Wade what his opinion is. These are the two colors which are currently on the wall. So on the left is blackened and then on the right is ammonite. It's got the shadow of the blinds behind me on it. That's why it's got the lines on it. But they're very similar in color. It's just that ammonite is like pure gray and then blackened has that blue tone. So. I am still undecided. I actually quite like both colours. So I'm going to wait until Wade comes down so then we can decide. And then we will go to home base and get our supplies for the day. I thought you could see... I thought you could see your dad. I thought that's why he was crying. Can you hear him? Bonnie, what's that? What have you got? What have you got? What are you thinking? Now Still in the is, light. Though. Ammonite. Yeah. Yeah? That's like... Too blue. I don't know what it is. Can anyone help me with that, that, that looks like? It's just got a blue tinge. I just think it looks like not in our kitchen. Yeah? So the grey? Yeah. And I think I should paint the ceiling white. Also, you know that video we saw where they did the slats, a few slats, just as like a design mm. thing, but painted it the same colour as the wall? Did you see what I sent you for it? The same thing? No, so if you see like this one? Yeah. They've done that geometric paneling. Oh yeah? Would you prefer that? Well, the slats are just like everyone. Got Boring. Okay, here. I'll have a look at that then. Alright, so should I wait for you? Before I do anything? That's it. Do you wait for me? Oh yeah, because I need to go to um, home base or B&Q. Home base or B&Q? Mm. Yeah, so we're not coming back then. Yeah, because also I'd, I'd worried about my tyre at the moment. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a bit low, babe. Yeah, I don't want to go on the motorway over it. So I'll wait for you to come back. Yes. And then I think we'll go to home base first. Because they might have what we need. It's, it's closer. Wade's off to the gym and then he's going to the dump. So, me and Bonbon, bon, we can sit and watch an episode of TV, can't we, while we're waiting? And then we'll go to home base when you get back, yeah? Yeah. Deal? Yeah. Said yes already. I'm making sure. Yeah. And then come back. The gardening fairies came out the other day and changed our round bush. It looks nice though, the actual landscape that you 
what all the bush is. Yeah, no, they've changed it over and it looks a lot better and they have cleaned it and de-weeded it all. This is the, the development. They've come and de-weeded everything. And it looks like they're actually growing now. Look, those ones have little flowers on them. Yeah, they're pretty. And we've got a new bush here now, not the circle one anymore. I think it was just too hard for them to maintain or they thought that we was not maintaining it as well. So they've changed it for this, which I think is going to grow into a bit of a little tree. All right, on our way to home base, we have, Wade showed me something which we're going to try out in the kitchen, a bit a of a, yeah, geometric design wall. I think it looks quite nice and we're going to paint it in the same colour as the walls. So it's not really, I don't know if it's going to like completely stand out, but it'll just be something a bit extra to have in there instead of just a plain wall. So my list of stuff to get from home base is a state of motion farrowing ball. We're going with ammonite. We've chosen ammonite, not blackened. White paint for the ceiling, mm. a dust sheet, a step ladder, and the strips for the wall. Yeah. Oh, wood filler. No, we have wood filler. I feel like I go through wood filler like no one's business. You do use a lot, you know. No, I think I've still got wood filler, but I've only got that smelly one. You don't like that one. That was for, like that was the hard strength one where Bonnie had like yeah, yeah, ripped yeah, 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 the um, yeah, yeah. side of the door. Like claws have gone in there. Yeah. No, we'll go so get I, I don't need the high strength one, just the normal one. I think it makes sense for us to get that pattern and just prepare for what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Because this, this is what it's probably going to be today and tomorrow. I'm going to get started with the painting because that's the bit I like to do. And then Wade will come in with the with the design. See. And I thought it was a bit different. Obviously, we when we first come in here, we wanted all like farmhouse and farmhouse this and something like that. But as we're developing it, we're thinking, right, cool. So it, it's it's halfway. Max wanted the. That's what I was gonna say. I think we've sacks. done it. We've sort of done it like, what's the word? It's, it's like a synergy. It's combined. So we've still got like some rustic elements, but I think not all the way. Yeah. Of what I would have it's probably not just like had. Crazily abstract, if that makes sense. We we have made sure that things bounce from each room. So for example, if you stand into the kitchen and you look through to the hallway to the front room and the toilet match, and the toilet, like they all match, but they have their own character and their own personality. Yeah, own. each room has its own thing, but then hopefully they are still Yeah, I think so. Together. Yeah. That's the aim. Even like with the colour in the kitchen, I think ammonite, because it's still grey, it will then still match with the living room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that's and the And some aim. of our furniture as well, so. Yeah, the dining table and the chairs are grey. Mm -hmm. And even the unit in the front room, the living what room. What grey is that? Charlotte grey, isn't it? Yeah, it's the light, light grey. Which is sort of what ammonite oh, is, it's a very it. light grey, yeah. So yeah. Home base trip. Right, we are back from home base and we decided to go to M&S just to pick up some food for tonight and tomorrow night. You know the quick ones that you can stick in the oven. So tonight is curry and then we picked up a lasagna for tomorrow. But in home base we got everything we needed. So we got two pots of farrow and ball paint, one for the ceiling and one for the walls. So we've got Webet 273 for the ceiling and then Ammonite 274 for the walls. We got them both in modern emulsion because it is um, it's the most durable finish. So I think the other one was a state emulsion. Modern emulsion is the most durable finish so you can like wash it and wipe it and all that sort of stuff which we thought was probably the best one to have in the kitchen. They was also doing a deal on Farrow and Ball in home base. It was like two for, you get like 20 or 30 pound off what it usually is if you get two pots of it. So we decided to get two pots of that. And then wood filler, because we're gonna do this bit of design wall, which we'll take you through once we've designed it a bit more. Wade can draw it on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And then a roller. And then we also picked these up, because we said, should we get one that you have to wash, or do we just get these ones that you can throw away? So we got these ones. So you can get five dis disposable trays. So we'll only use two of these, obviously. One for the ceiling and one for the walls. But I mean, I mostly use a paintbrush anyways when I'm doing the walls, but I said I'd get a roller for the ceiling this time because it would be a lot quicker. So I thought that would be easier. And obviously it's fair and ball paint, so I want to make sure that I do it all nice and smooth and paint it properly because it's quite expensive paint. And then I did pick up a step ladder as well because we actually don't have one, weirdly enough. All the DIY that we've done, 
never bought a stepladder where I would stand on top of other things, like a chair or something. Um, but I thought for this, I want to make sure I have a proper ladder. And also because the ceiling, our ceilings are quite low, so didn't need a big ladder. But I didn't want to get paint all over the chairs, so I didn't want to stand on one of those. So I thought instead, let me get a ladder and I can stand on that. And if paint splatters on it, then it doesn't really matter. So everything is all, that's all fine. We're going to eat some food first and I'm going to get myself into some painting clothes as well. Because I, I've been ruining quite a lot of clothes painting. So what I've decided to do is have like a pair of leggings and a jumper, which I always paint in. So I'll get those clothes on in a second. Eat some food and then we can start painting. Obviously it's getting dark here now, it is the evening. But I think what I'm going to do is aim to get the ceiling painted tonight. And then if Wade can then design how he wants this future wall to be, the geometric sort of pattern, then that's like another step. He can design that and then we can get that all up in the morning. I think that's the plan actually, babe. Yeah. Yeah, so if I paint the ceiling tonight, yeah. and then if you can design the wall, yeah. like measure the wall and stuff and then design it, mm -hmm. then in the morning mm -hmm. we get it all up yeah. with the nail gun and stuff. So. And then, um, then when you go, I can then fill it and cork it and stuff, ready to be painted. Cool. Yeah? You fill it inside, yeah? Yeah. So, so Deal? Deal. That is Bonnie squeaking her toy in the background. That's not a weird sound in the house. What are you doing, Bob One? What are you doing? From my window Sounds coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door I, was, I thought about this when we was doing the tiling, but that's because there was like less stuff in here. But we've obviously got most of the stuff back in now, so I'm not sure why it's so echoey. But anyways, I ended up painting all of the room one coat last night. So it took me a couple of hours. It was quite nice though. I find painting a bit of like my mental therapy, like to like chill myself out, have a little bit of time. I put on something to watch. I was watching Grey's Anatomy. And then I just get on with painting. So I managed to do one coat of the entire room of the walls in the ammonite colour. And I love it. I think it looks really nice. It's a lot softer than the sort of creamy colour that it was before. Let me show you. So this is it with one coat. Obviously it's a little bit patchy because we've got to do another coat. And I had to fill some holes. So we had the blind up there before. I'm still waiting for the perfect fit blinds for these windows. So we'll probably be blindless for a little while until that comes. So I filled up some of the holes up there and then also the holes up there just where the pantry cupboard was. But this is the colour with one coat. What do we think? Oh, it's not focusing. What do we think of the colour? I really like it. It's not focusing at all, is it? Why is it not focusing today? I'll show you it this way so you can see me as well. <laughs> But what do we think of the colour? I think it's a lot softer, like I said, and it looks a bit more creamier. I really, really like it, actually. I think I'm quite glad that we went with the ammonite because I think the black end might have been too much in here, especially with the blue kitchen cabinets that we've got. So I'm glad that we went with more of the grey colour. It's soft 
and I think it just blends really well. So my job now is, Wade's still in bed actually, so I should be a bit quieter. Um, he's still upstairs. I got up super early this morning to edit the video that went live on Sunday, which was our kitchen organised. So if you're not seeing that, I'll link it at the top here. Um, I did a big kitchen organised over Friday night, and then I sort of was going to edit it on Saturday, but then I decided to carry on painting, so I didn't edit it until this morning. So I got up for like 7 this morning, done all of that, got that up for 9.30, so that was good. Tick off my list. Um, so before Wade wakes up and he'll... I won't bother him, I'll let him sleep in a little bit. Look how dark my hands are as well. Oh, fake tan disaster. Um, if you see them throughout the video, then that's why. It's because I've over fake tanned my hands, so I'm waiting for them to... <laughs> slowly get lighter as I get in the bath each day um what am I saying anyways off on a tangent yes I'm gonna start painting again I think I'm gonna start with the ceiling this morning because I did one coat of the walls just because and it was right Wade was right he was like do you really want to paint the ceiling in the night time and I was like mm, good choice so I decided to change that to today instead because it would have been quite hard to see where I painted it because it was quite dark in here last night so when I was painting the walls I sort of like I mean, you could see it, but you couldn't see it massively. I mean, I can see it much more today, like the actual effect of this paint now. So it would have been quite difficult with the ceiling. So I'm gonna get to painting the ceiling. I'm gonna use a brush for around the edges and I'm thinking to use a roller. I'm just always a bit about rollers because I just get so worried about the mess. They're so messy. And with a paintbrush, I've sort of got quite good at it now. I can do cutting in without tape. I can do it without putting dust sheets down. I can be quite neat with painting with a paintbrush. So that's why, if you ever see me with a paint with a paintbrush and you think to yourself, why are you doing that? Why don't you use a roller? That's the reason why. But we did buy a roller for the ceiling. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna start up painting because the only thing as well with the ceiling is that you wanna do it quite quickly because your arm does ache. I painted the ceiling when I lived at my parents' house. They've got much higher ceilings so you have to go up a lot further and we had to go on a big platform. And then also they had a much wider surface area as well because their rooms are bigger. So by the end of it, my arms were killing me just doing the ceiling. So I'm not sure. We'll try with a paintbrush. We'll see how we get on. If my arms are aching, we'll get the roller out and just start whacking it on. If it's messy, I just have to clean as I go. So that's the plan for this morning. Yeah, hey, you can see it in the camera. The white. And then I just want to <clears throat> sand down. I'm thinking not to do another coat on the walls until we have finished our design feature here. So I need to sand down the bits where obviously I filled the holes in. But I will probably go and get the sander and then get ready to get the saw at the same time. And then get that sanded, get the decorative stuff up. Now we did do a rough sketch of this last night. Let me find the little piece of paper. Where is it? So we did a bit of a rough drawing of what it's going to look like. So Wade started writing on it as well. So like this. So it's like a geometric design feature. 
and you use what we got was the mdf sort of strips that you buy from home base and then you create this sort of feature wall here which is going to go behind me so you have like these sort of two triangles this is like the main piece of it so you have three triangles there and then you've also got a small triangle up there and then you've got almost strips coming in and out and you can make your own design so i mean we drew loads of different ones you can make all pretty much whatever one you want and that's the quite cool thing about it because anyone you can make all different designs so this is what we're going to try we're basically going to use the nail gun so similar to what we did when we did the mdf not mdf we used the wood didn't we the wood strips in our bedroom um i'll link that video up here if you've not seen that but we did like almost like wood panels where you get strips of wood nail them in fill it and then that one there we actually left it as wood and stained it this one because we're not using wood we're using mdf what we're going to do is get the strips up nail it in wood filler sand it cork it and then we can then paint it and we're going to paint it the same color as the walls because we didn't want it to be like completely different and something like in your face in the kitchen we wanted it quite still quite nice and soft but painting it the same color still then means that it's not crazy but it will add something to the kitchen add a bit of a design feature so that's the aim i'm gonna see if ray's ready to start and then get all the equipment downstairs and we can get started on the next bit where are you setting up the saw here right here here so i can chop it snap it straight okay. it's so strong <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't be here. Come, Bon Bon, come over here. Come on. There you go. You sit here. Come on. <laughs> Can I saw now? Can I saw now? Hmm? <laughs> Can I saw now? Come on, Bonnie. Come on. Come on. Come, on. come here. Come here. Good girl. Now she walks away. Good girl. What about her hair? On an angle. Like that? No. So why did you say on an angle? No, she turned it, it was good. That was right. Oh. So I'd need to do them the same 45 degree angle then? Yeah. The same cut I'd just done with that basically in order to get that flat right because if this cut is the 45 yeah it wouldn't be that way though it'd be that way would it be the opposite way yeah how because you need that bit yeah to touch the wall therefore you have to cut it that way so you have to cut it that way so you can take both of them again do the same thing it, it you should be able to flip them mm. Put this flat. No, it's not right. Okay. Not right. Don't need that right. Okay. Impossible. <laughs> I told you it's the other way. Oh, cool. So which way is it? The other way. On what side? Any side? Any side, yeah. Maggie one. Wade Mill. A bit. Is it? Where's the stapler? Where is it? Oh no, the nail gun. Where is it? <laughs> it's not started. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> We've got it perfect and now we're stranded. <laughs> That's absolutely lovely. It is. Oh no. Are you losing it? Yeah. No, no. Are you not coming with the... I am, I am. Oh, yeah? I've got to set up. Okay. Just go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get the middle, girl. Get the middle. Where are you going for? My fingers. And then say, Maddie, two. Wait, now. Get the other one in the middle. Let's go. Okay. Now. Now you get the ace, yeah? No, I think it's the X-Men. 
<laughs> we're not having that. <laughs> we're not having that. X-Man! At all. <laughs> <laughs> Of course not. Of course not. Just quite shorter. That's why I told you, yeah? Come on, drink, babe? What drink would you like? The juice, please, sweetheart. Look, man, he's so always painting the ceiling no, all morning. This is, this is your hobby. And he does... This is your hobby. He does one cut this is your and hobby. he starts demanding beverages. But I'm not even getting one, so it's not really great, is it? <laughs> Don't push it. Would you like apple juice or the other one? Uh, surprise me. Do you guys DIY? Do you use like pencils and rulers? No. What do you use? That. <laughs> this. <laughs> See this thing here? Nail. <laughs> so the same as that angle. Feels on the Titanic on the safety. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> Stay away! He did it. Bonnie, what's she keeping on asking me for when she knows the answer? I haven't, babe, but I'll make sure I get it before I go. Why have you got any left? None. Do you want to quickly dry there? Put my goose. <laughs> Put my goose and some sliders. Who's going to talk to you? Goose and sliders. I can't drive my car, remember? Drive my team. I can't drive that car. He's nervous. How are you ever drive in another car and think you can just like, you can't even like pattern? Them cars, they're big, you know, your steering wheel's a little heavier than that because they're SUVs. So things are just, don't think all my cars like SUV, like, they're heavier yeah, but cars. I don't drive it often. I'm even gonna try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even gonna try it. Are you standing on the toe that you just hurt? <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm gonna be limping to work tomorrow. <laughs> bring that down, bring that down, bring that down. Down. I caught you. Who's on the toe? I'll save you. If it's gonna come down there, then it means has to, I think it has to be the same width. Or we do it like further apart like that. Either way. I think like that. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah? And that covers the whole, look, that's perfect. And that covers this section. Yeah. 
That's it then. That's it. Then we just move down here. Then we're done. done. <laughs> ah, hold up. <laughs> Knowing you. Ow! I'm gonna tell you, I've been abused this week. <laughs> No, move away from me, I don't trust you. <laughs> Put your fingers there. <laughs> <laughs> My toe hurts, go on. <laughs> Funny you dare devil. Save me. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, so impromptu design. To be honest, when we was even thinking about decorating the kitchen, I never even thought of this at all. This was Wade's idea. He sort of sent it to me as someone we saw, saw on someone's like Instagram reel. And now it's up. I really do love it. And I think it's going to look lovely once it's all painted in the same colour as the walls and that ammonite colour. So this is what it's currently looking like. So we sort of had a bit of a design in mind. And then from there, we sort of just went as like designed it as we went so we knew that we was going to have these triangles here so this four set of triangles and then also a set of three triangles there and then the rest of it we sort of just worked around it so we put like these two lines and then we was like mm, how do we best like get this design to sort of match up with a bit of a space in the middle so then we thought of that one there and then these bits there again just filling it up but because it is a geometric pattern, you sort of just go with it and just decide where you want everything. And it, as long as it's straight and it sort of ties up in terms of like the width between them. But you'll see like that, those two there have a very small gap. And then those two there have a bigger gap. So you can sort of just go with it and freestyle a bit, which actually I quite like. And it was relatively easy to put up. We've done it in a couple of hours. This compared to some of the panelling that we've done is a lot a lot easier because because it is that sort of abstract design you can just go with it and you don't have to think about every single thing lining up as long as you've got some sort of structure there then it does look good let me know what you think of it do we like it my next job is to fill it so wade's got to go to east just to drop something off to his daughter so he'll be leaving in a second to do that in the meantime i'm gonna fill it and cork it and then I need to get myself ready for the office tomorrow. So my next job for today is wood filler. So I'm just using this one here, which I've used before. It's the Ron Seal multi-purpose wood filler in natural. Now we are painting it, so it doesn't entirely matter what color we're gonna use. Um, but I thought natural would be the easiest one to cover because it's the one that's most like the sort of MDF. If we went with a darker one, it might've been a bit harder to cover up. So gone with that one. And then I'm just gonna use this which, what are these called? I don't even know what they're called, but you get them in a pack of like five from home base. They're like scraper and knives. You can use it for other different things. I use it for like polyfiller or wood filler, anything like that. And I literally just scrape some out of the tub. And then I've already started just filling in the gaps. So just filling in the gaps between the triangles and then also in the holes as well. And then it's already dry to be honest. So these bits that I did about 10 minutes ago. Once it's dry, then sand it down and then that'll be ready for painting. So. I think what I might do is fill in all of the holes and all the gaps now, let that dry, and then I might do a big sanding sash because I need to sand that, and then I need to finish off sanding some bits of the polyfiller that I did yesterday. And then before I then go and get myself in the bath and sort myself out because I've got paint everywhere, we'll see just going for some of this tan because it's a bit orange, isn't it? And I've probably got paint in my hair, I need to wash my hair. Before I do that, then I'll cork. So that's my next job, I'll show you once I've finished. Right, I am almost signing off for the evening, so I need to go and get myself in the bath, washing my hair, get myself ready for tomorrow. I have finished off as much as I'm going to do on this design wall now, and it just, I, I think it looks lovely, and I can just, I can see the vision of it. So imagine this painted in the same colour as the walls, it will just add some sort of like, it's almost like a 3D finish to it. And this is what it is looking like. So I have used the wood filler 
in the cracks so basically where the two triangles meet or anywhere where two pieces of the mdf strips meet i have put the wood filler and also the holes where we use the nail gun as well so that when it's painted you shouldn't see any of the gaps between the strips and you shouldn't see any of the holes so wood filled then i sanded and then i have corked as well so i used decorator's cork in the mastic gun or the electric caulking gun which we got from ryobi and just corked along all the way both on the top and the bottom of all of the slats i'm going to call them so it's all ready pretty much it's now it's all completely prepped so everything's been sanded down i need to do a bit of clean up it's very messy on the floor at the moment but it's all prepped ready to be painted which i will do over the next few days so this is what we're looking at let me stand back so you can see it so I think for a weekend job, we made a lot of progress. So I have done two coats on the ceiling. So that is all finished. It's all lovely and white. I've done one coat of ammonite all around the room. Apologies for any of the messy on the counters. The kitchen is a bit messy, I need to sort it out. But ammonite has been painted once on all the walls. And then I've also polyfilled and sanded and the camera is not liking me today because now it's not focusing but i probably filled and sanded or where you see the sort of the white patches around the room so what's next to do is paint pretty much and then just get everything back up and on the walls so we need to paint in another coat of ammonite i might have to do two more coats i'm not sure yet it's either one coat or two coats definitely i might have to do two coats on the strips i'm not sure i probably will prime it actually that makes more sense than it to get some primer and prime the mdf before i then paint it because then that that should hold a lot better yeah i think i'll do that and then we've got to get the shelf back up on the wall and then get everything back to looking a bit more reasonable also, I need to decide what to do here, whether we put anything up on the wall, like pictures, prints, do we put some little shelves up there? Let me know what you think. Do you think we should put anything up on this wall? I'm just not sure if it looks bare now. So um, it's like, we take stuff off walls, and then I think to myself, oh, that wall looks too bad, I need to put something on that wall. But let me know whether we should or we should leave it for now, and then decide later. I also think, especially now we're in here, I'm definitely gonna change these lights, because they're just not, giving me the light that i want i want the kitchen to be a lot lighter than this and i think the smoked glass lights are lovely but i want i want to have lights that i could change the mood like one minute it's light and then one minute it's more cozy so we'll have a look around but i think that's going to end this video i'm going to call this a part one of redecorating our kitchen and our geometric design wall stay tuned for part two that will be coming soon but if you did like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are new here and we will see you in the next one bye